Welcome, I'm Eden Amadora, and I'm looking forward to sharing with you today about balancing light and dark feminine energy. First, I wanna start by expressing that in our culture, we have a misconception around the word dark, the concept of dark. We have mistakenly connected darkness to negativity or something that's evil or dangerous or bad. We fear the dark collectively because we fear the unknown. We fear our own subconscious desires and things that go bump in the night. We fear the things we don't understand. So in this offering around balancing our light and dark feminine energies, I'm in no way saying we need to take what we might call negative or evil or dangerous and bring that in balance. I believe that the shadow or that which is in the unknown is simply just that which has yet to be embraced into the light of our loving awareness. In this case, when I speak about dark feminine energies, I'm referring to what we might call more of the energetic signature or archetypal frequency of the dark goddess. Those darker goddesses that are actually inviting us back into our power. The dark goddesses like Kali Ma, for instance, in the mystery school training I offer, we call this face, this archetypal face of the goddess, the creator, destroyer, preserver, because she's willing to destroy that which is an illusion in our lives. So that destructive side of the goddess isn't destroying what is true and aligned and in integrated. It's destroying that which is inhibiting our light, inhibiting our freedom, inhibiting our radiance. So the dark feminine is the powerful creator, destroyer, preserver goddess, as well as sometimes we would consider the primal goddess, a dark goddess. The primal goddess doesn't care what you think about her. She expresses her desire, her sexuality, and her freedom without regard for people shaming her, vilifying her, or slandering her. So that's another face of the dark goddess that I'm inviting is not negative. In fact, it's the exact opposite. The benefit of balancing the dark feminine energies of our sexuality, our aliveness, and those powers that are still in the subconscious part of our being. This is incredibly beneficial to coming into wholeness. Another aspect of the dark goddess that is a lesser known face of the goddess the archetype that we use in the mystery school training I offer is called the queen of death. And she is the dark feminine energy that invites you into the fallowness of winter, into the stillness, the quiet, and the release of all that is illusory and false. She invites us to allow parts of the self that no longer serve to die and be composted as fuel for the new to then take life. So this dark face of the goddess rules over things that we might consider negative in our lives, not to amplify them, but to embrace us in trust. When we're going through those inevitable parts of our life anyway, loss, apparent betrayal, separation, abandonment, divorce, or death of others, grief. This dark feminine energy is an invitation into deep holding through that grief, through that fear, through that process of release. She is saying trust. So I wanted to begin this, this particular transmission with illuminating the power of these dark feminine energies because we can't bring them into balance if we don't truly understand how they serve our lives and why we'd be wanting to bring these more into the center of our awareness and balance. 
So I would like to talk about what we call the light feminine a little bit more too. We're balancing light and dark feminine energies. I've used these goddess archetypes to really amplify the dark feminine energy. So I'm going to use a few other goddess archetypes to amplify the light feminine energy. So one of the goddesses I work with very often is the archetype of the goddess of compassion. She's a very high frequency goddess. We know her sometimes as Kuan Yin, Mother Mary, or Tara. The goddess of compassion is that forgiveness and that embrace of cool, compassionate understanding and wisdom. And it is a light face in that it's bringing a very high frequency energy into our lives when we let go and forgive, when we can use our compassionate witnessing rather than judging or contracting in separation. This light aspect of our feminine energy is a sweetness like the milk of human kindness, the waters of forgiveness, the tears of mercy. So this light feminine energy is a blessing to the whole world, your own body and all your relations. So this is one aspect I would like to say we're bringing more of that into balance in our life as well. This light feminine energy of forgiveness, the waters of forgiveness, the flow of forgiveness. Another light aspect of feminine energy comes in the form of the archetype of the muse, the creative muse, this divine child essence that plays through us and in that play reveals wonder, magic, and higher and higher realms of possibility, freedom. This light aspect of feminine energy blesses up our life when we feel stuck, when we feel there's no way out. This creative energy will, will lift the veils and show us new possibilities we never dreamed of. This is where we bring her into our lives again. It's like resurrecting the lost, inner child and instead of the wounded child unconsciously steering the ship so to speak or being at the wheel we invite our magical child our divine child our creative child back into that position so that that light feminine energy can play again and watch how that delights others who may be feeling blue or dark or lost in their lives. When you have that light feminine energy at your disposal, you know you can shift the frequency in any room. And the third goddess aspect I'm bringing in as an archetype of light feminine energy is the goddess of love. The goddess of love is the one that invites us to completely unshield our heart to be the invitation and the offering, to know there is no giver or receiver in true love. It is simply like an infinity loop of flow between beings with open hearts. The goddess of love invites you to feel and respond rather than think and react. And as you feel and respond, you are completely in your feminine energy, in the light of your feminine energy. So we have these three really beautiful goddesses that are helping us balance our light feminine energy. And we have these three really powerful goddesses that are helping us balance our dark feminine energy. And I would like to bring them into union and really feel how when you have the ability to let things go on this side to end and complete to release and destroy that which no longer serves you, it makes a lot more space for that play and wonder and compassion and unconditional flow of love to come in. So they work together in harmony and union. So this is the highest octave of balancing light, light and dark feminine energy. Feel that in your own life where each of these faces may serve you to come into balance and wholeness. Often we might feel more comfortable with one side or the other. So if you swing on the pendulum to being kind of a fiery, overly boundaried, 
kind of what people might might think of as like, oh, she's intimidating or scary. Maybe you can bring some of these light goddess energies back into your heart and your life and your embodiment. And if you're in your feminine flow, but you're swirly, whirly and stuck and can't seem to actually manifest or create the life that you truly desire, where can you bring some of these other, what we call dark goddess energies in to empower you and really illuminate that path once you've cleared the way? So this is a wonderful deepening inquiry for you now as you take this transmission in. And I invite you to journal on this and really feel where you can more deeply commune with both the light and dark feminine energy within you. I hope you enjoyed this. If you would like more guidance and support on this journey of wholeness, integration and empowerment, you can visit the link below to my offering, Channeling Your Inner Goddess. There are many practices, 13 different faces. I gave you an example of about six of these goddess archetypes. There's many more and much deeper transmissions to learn from. I hope you like this. Give it a like if you did, and you can subscribe now if you're not already subscribed so that you are informed when I release my next transmission. Go ahead and share this with a friend who you think could benefit from balancing her light and dark feminine energy. Only love.